Hi, this is Trey Smith with BuildBox, and in this video, I'm gonna create a Flappy Bird style game in under 60 seconds. Let's go ahead and start the timer now. The first thing we'll do is choose the Flappy gameplay type. Then we'll drag and drop our background over, and then our character. Now I'm going to zoom out so I can see the whole picture. We're gonna make this a little bit smaller and also increase the size of the background slightly. Now we're ready to start creating levels. I'll do the same thing and make this level smaller, and then we're gonna grab a pillar, drop it as an object, and make sure we notate this as an enemy. Now I'm going to duplicate this. We're gonna rotate it 180 degrees, and we're gonna have it be the other pillar upside down. I'll turn on the snap function. This way I know they're gonna line up perfectly. Then we'll grab the ground layer. We'll put this as an object, and it's gonna be an enemy as well. Now we'll duplicate this scene, and we're just gonna change how these look. It's gonna randomly play these in uh, a different order every single time, just like Flappy Birds. And of course, we could make sure these are really fine-tuned if we wanted to spend a little bit more than 60 seconds. And we are done, that's it. We made a whole game in 60 seconds. Let's check it out. All right, so here we go. We have a true to form Flappy Bird style game. Graphics look good, the scrolling's really smooth, and it plays just like the original. But the problem is, this has been done a million times, and I think everyone's really sick of Flappy Birds. So let me show you how easy it is to start with something like this in BuildBox and then create something uniquely yours. Instead of making just yet another clone of Flappy Birds, why don't we make something truly unique? And you know what we can do? We can take what people love about Flappy Birds, the Flappy style gameplay that made it so popular, and then put a new spin on it. So instead of just having regular old boring pillars here, I'm gonna make this a physics item. And when I do that, you'll notice that as I go under this item, it's going to fall down. There it goes, it starts to fall. And what we can do is actually clone this out and we can make many of them. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out. I'm gonna extend this. We'll go ahead and double this over as well. And let's make a couple more to see how that looks. All right, so now the game has changed completely, and it's all about making sure we don't get hit by these items falling. But it's too easy, so we need to add in some more things to make it a little bit more difficult. So let's put in this saw blade. We're gonna put it in the middle, and we're gonna have this turn at a rate of 150 pretty fast. And we're gonna to have to avoid not only the things above us, but also the saw blade below us. So now the game's getting a little bit more difficult. But let's add something else. Let's throw in some wooden boxes. These are just gonna get in the way. They're not gonna hurt us if we touch them. And we're also gonna have these rotate at a variable rate of about 200. And we're gonna to try to avoid these. And then of course we have to avoid the ground as well. Now, this is just a really simple idea based on a simple game, Flappy Bird. But what if we wanted to change everything? We've already started working on our game, but we really wish we were doing something new, like maybe a platformer. Well, it's actually really easy. All you would do is go into the settings screen and then choose platformer for your gameplay type. Now, all of these are presets. Anytime you choose one of these, it changes all the gameplay variables in our Infinity Engine. If you want to, you can go in here and then create your own new gameplay type, stuff we haven't even thought of yet, or maybe a new gameplay type that comes out and is really popular on the App Store. But in this case, everything we've chosen is perfect for a platforming style game, including being landscape instead of portrait. And as you can see, it works just like you would expect a platforming game to work. And we can try to jump over stuff, avoid obstacles, and of course, if we hit something, then we die. Now let's say you've already made your game, but you decide you just don't like this cute green dragon. And instead, you really wish that you had a yellow dragon. All you'd have to do is click on your character over here, you'd grab another file and replace it. And then now, we would reset the game, and here we have a whole new character playing our new game.